Hi everybody, I'm Jen Gagney from Pixelscapes.com and I am cartooning my way through the Dungeons and Dragons monster manual. Uh, in this case my monster is actually a beast, a wolf. Uh, so uh, I've got my sketch video for you and my painting video. Here's the sketch video, it's a little under a minute. Uh, so I had this nice public domain wolf photo because my freehand version here I wasn't too thrilled with. Uh, and I really do like, uh, I want to get that, you know, lean, loping, long-legged kind of look. Ooh, that's a lot of alliteration. Uh, and of course, mean eyebrows, because this is, this is apparently an enemy. Now, I did a wolf and then a winter wolf. So as you can see, this is like the winter wolf version, because it's got the breath weapon and the snow. Um, but then, after I finish that, I end up with... Um, taking the snow away and adding grass. And that's what I used for this wolf. So there we go. I'm like fine tuning my grass, getting my token all cleaned up and there we are. So now here's my painting. This is five and a half minutes of painting. So I like the wolf fur color. Well, not the color. I like the wolf fur for the texture. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, because I can't possibly use a natural color. This is me. You've seen my art. It's all garish. I can't make him brown. It's, it's bad enough that I'm making the grass green. <laughs> so, uh, but first I need to clean it up because, you know, there were some plants in the way and and, and so forth. And besides, ultimately, I'm just using this as my guide. So there we go. Get his, get his mouth all cleaned up. His nose, the little blank spot on his nose that I forgot. I'm fussy enough to adjust his cheek a little further. All right. Yeah, excellent. And then... I didn't want it to be just like photo sharp, so I did blur that a little. Uh, and then go for red. I'm basically using the, the channel, if you know anything about Photoshop, as a selection mask. So there we go. And then I'm going to make his eyes and teeth white. Um, and then add some eye color and nose color. I had him blue here, but uh, I finally went to like a nice red and yellow. As you can see, I did a little bit of experimenting trying to figure out what I wanted to do. There we go. And then I can start laying in the red, which of course you saw in my final version. Do I want this shading? I don't. So, clean all that up. Maybe a little pink, maybe not. Some more red on his flank and his legs. His tail. And then I, I shade his ears. Now, I do know that the red makes him look a little bit, like, almost foxy. Um. But I like it anyway. I couldn't resist. And either way, it's a good contrast to the Winter Wolf, which is the other video. Um, it'll be the next video I post, as a matter of fact, if you'd like to check that one out. My grass with AstroTurf, because AstroTurf makes it more realistic. So here we go. A little texture. Not quite that dark, though. I just want it barely there. shading. I don't want my grass base to overlap the edge, just that part. Okay. And then add some shifts to the color of the lines. Yeah. Fussing over that. Like, as usual, half my process is line color, isn't it? <laughs> uh, what do I want to do with this nose? Purple is good. Let's go with purple. All right, and background, I guess I'll make it look kind of like the sky. 
so realistic it's painful all right and then the ring color sort of blue and purple maybe there we go on the inside and the outside all right i'm going to add a leaf texture to that because this is the outdoors as we can see Try to keep it subtle. A little black shading. I don't do a lot of black shading, but I've been into it this week, so. So there you have it. And then I erase some of that shading on the side because I wanted to blend into his face too much. I tried some other colors, but I think I ended up going right back to where I was. Yeah, there we go. And then I make my background black because that's always a look I like. Time to do my ring line color. I've got blue by his foot, blue by his face. The body lines, I'm going to use red with a little extra red so that they blend at the edges. Then, because I'm, I realize this grass sort of overlaps there, I got rid of that. Then I keep fussing and fussing and fussing over the line color. <laughs> and some of, some of the shading on his ears. There we go. Alright. And he's all done. So, thank you again for watching. Um, you can see more of my monsters at pixelscapes.com. Uh, you can say hi to me and discuss RPGs on Twitter at Pixelscapes. Uh, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and share my videos and art. That really helps. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much for coming by, and I'll see you next time. Bye.